series on fixed stars and I'm going to start off with this one, Mira, which is about 0 to 1 degree, 130 degree Taurus in the Cetus, the whale constellation. The star Mira was named the Wonderful One for its fabulous appearance, miraculous appearance and its disappearing nature. It appears red in colour, a deep garnet red, as the brightest pulsing binary star at the neck of Cetus the monster whale, and has been called the constellation's necklace. It's considered a very remarkable star. According to Bullinger, its name also refers to the rebel, because of the star being so variable in its alternating brilliance, from second magnitude to invisibility. It goes from hero to zero. It's formed of two stars that periodically obscure each other and rapidly dim, causing it to vary its brightness in a variable and regular way. This cycle lasts roughly 332 days from one period of maximum brightness to the next, making the star invisible for about five months. Then in the next six months, it gradually increases in brilliance until finally it shines with a bright and beautiful sparkle for a few weeks before fading again. The ancient ones imagined the pulsating nature of Mira as representing the beating heart of the monster whale. In Greek mythology, Cetus represents the sea monster that was sent to devour Andromeda. The astrological influence of Mira corresponds to Saturn and Jupiter in nature, which is both restricting and expanding. When it's connected well in a positively placed Saturn with helpful angles, it will denote prudence, perseverance, versatility, a progressive spirit and endurance in solving difficult problems. But when badly aspected in the chart, it may bring the experiences of failure, fiascos and warring enmity, especially when the planet Saturn is transiting. When it has links to the moon, it can bring upon an air of melancholia. Aspects to Mercury create a diminishing of the chi energy or spiritual forces. At the worst end of the spectrum, in very critical situations, it may indicate self-harm to varying degrees, potentially even fatal. Persons of notoriety with Mira conjunct their son are Adolf Hitler and Amber Heard, who you will have heard of recently. I find it fascinating that her stardom both peaked and diminished while she was under the character role of Mira in Aquaman, truly playing out the binary nature of the star, shining brightly then dulling in its brightness as the star quality fades. It's absolutely perfect the way it's played out with her story of her becoming a star and now not so. It's also rather interesting that she had the Medusa's head right on her Venus. So it's almost like her Venus, her desires are eclipsing out her son with the snake's head. Okay, so that was the fixed star mirror. Um, if there are any other stars that you'd like me to do next, I might not necessarily do them in any particular order, um, do let me know and let me know what you think in the comments below. Do all that like and subscribe stuff that people say as well, I'm sure it helps. Thanks, bye!